Hello everyone, this is Slashot. Today is a special day. On January 9th, right now, my ratio has reached, finally, 6 stars. Yay! Something worthy of celebration. In front of you is my sharding schedule. I have shared that in a previous video. Uh, as you can see, I was leveraging the Aftra Double Gate of Fate farming event to push on six heroes at the same time. Since then, I use my actual Gate of um, uh, Wheel of Fate to shard Actual Gate of Fate for Racial. While I'm pushing Alastrio, as you can see, all the way to six stars. And on March 17th, Alastrio will be six stars. Basically, just before the last week of. Um, last week of season six <coughs> all right so i'm very happy about this of course and uh it is a very important part of my season six plan as you can see my yulia and deedlet will also soon reach six stars and then I will switch to Elucia and Wilder Sharding to get Wilder to 4 star. Uh, and after that, I'll push Liana also to 6 stars. So Liana will get 6 stars on February 26th. While, um, you know, when, you know, when Elucia gets the 6 star on February 13th, it's exactly the same week that her exclusive weapon comes out and the new pirate soldier, the new aquatic pirate soldier comes out for her. So all stars aligned. Now I'll go back to shard Weiler. So Weiler becomes five stars. Also just before the 10th week of season six. Uh, so things are kind of working out. I, I do need to summon four copies of Rosen Seal uh, at the minimum next Thursday so that he, she become 5 stars. If lucky, I may get 3 extra copies and I can instant you know, 6 star her. But depending on how lucky I am, I'm going to control my budget. I save up a lot of summons already, so hopefully I don't need to spend money. But if I need to whale, I will, I will commit to whaling to get her at least to a 5 star. So I can shard her up to 6 stars for season... Seven. That's April would be season seven. <clears throat> uh, well, April is playoff, and so I can get her ready at six star for future season. Uh, but she should work uh, to some degree at five star, and then I can also continue sharding old Landius up. Uh, and you know my schedule is not as refined for future. Uh, Landius will get five star on April nineteenth if I follow the schedule. Uh, of course, and a lot of other units comes into play later on, like Himeko, as, uh, Wataru from that new collab, collaboration banner. Uh, also, Hilda and Lolly, Jessica, you know, Mario, Mary, like all, all these good heroes. I just can't fit them in my schedule, so we'll see. Uh, a lot of people will be sharding Lolly Jess for sure. Um, who probably replace Racial's position in the box. Right? Racial is good in debuff heavy meta. She kind of falls off if enemies don't run debuff heavy boxes in future seasons. And Lolly Jess is just the, most, the single most uh, overpowered uh, single target mage unit. Anyway, so now that you've seen my sharding status, as well as my sharding plan. Let's go back to our in-game screen. So our ratio is at 7,500 power, exactly the 150 shards right now. Uh, Didid and Yulia will be sharded to six stars soon. 
Rachel is part of my core triple gospel team, with, uh, along with Liana and Deeplet. Alrighty, this is my racial stat right now. Uh, the Yint is actually really high uh, right now. Uh, I believe her my enchant on her is worth 34.1% intelligence right now. The combined int bonus on the enchant is worth 34.1% int, uh, uh, int uh, at six stars uh, int uh, base int, right? And uh, but she lacks HP, so you can see 15% int and 10% int here, 5% int, three int, uh, no HP, five int and three percent int, high defense. She has my only tenure headdress right now. Holy Ring with uh, that's about uh, 9.5% int for her and 10% crit. The problem is no HP, no 10% HP here, a lack of HP here, but you know, defense is good, so I might just keep this roll. No HP here, so although she has 34.1% int, qualifying the int level enchant for DPS. Right, you want kind of like 34%, 33, 34% uh, attack or int bonus on your character. Um, and most of my DPS actually doesn't qualify, uh, except Racial and Old Lendius, and they are kind of semi support units. Right, so that kind of sucks, but uh, my HP is low, so there is argument to be made that I may change Holy Ring to Star Airing. Actually, a lot of CN meta use uh, Star Airing instead. I have one here. I need to build another one then. I do have a lot of star airing actually. Uh, I have so many of them, so I can build one right now. But I I do lack uh, enchant scroll on breeze, right? I lack breeze scroll. So I'll wait. I'll wait and see how it goes. Right? Holy ring is good against um, silence, right? So you can kind of gospel your tank or other units and not gospel yourself to be silenced uh, but uh, it's hard to say this extra hp is actually really important especially later on when Himiko comes in she is an aoe assassin right star airing really helps against aoe assassin right this this actually works this defensive bonus works against that uh, aoe skill right that Himiko had so we'll see the extra hp is really really good though Right, that's like um, how much HP, right? There's no HP on Holy Ring, that's the downside. And if you change the star airing, 500 extra HP is a lot. On top of this 10%, 10% bonus HP from Tenios. Um, but we'll we'll debate, right? Or we can reroll, we can reroll the enchants on accessory and helmet. So uh, no, not sorry, not helmet. The armor and uh, accessory to get 10% HP. If we have the luxury, right? We need to spend a lot of scrolls on SP Elwin, and so we'll see. And also Illusia, I need to actually enchant Illusia's weapon and accessory later. On. <clears throat> okay, so that is a good overview of what I'm thinking of about racial, right? What, what I'm what I'm planning for racial, right? Still contemplating on a few things like how do I get higher HP on her, right? This HP is not high enough. Ideally, you want like 11,000 HP in, com in combat, right? Post deployment, 11,000 HP in PvP, and she's not, she's not there, right? So if, if you if you wonder how to calculate this before entering actual combat, it is 3,628 plus 2,147. This is your, this is going to be your HP at the deployment screen, right? And then you have to consider. The extra HP from here, from here, that's 20% extra HP, and 5% here, so 25% extra HP, nothing here, right? But you have to consider a 40% extra bonus from PvP, right? So it's 25 plus 40, which is 65% extra HP. So I have to multiply by 1.65, right? To account for the 25% from the equipment, right, in the skill section. And another 40% from PvP bonus. So let's see, five, 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 uh, 5,700, 675, right? Which is your deployment, 
deployment screen HP, right? These two numbers added together is your white number on the deployment screen. Multiply by 1.65. That is 9,528. Then you have to add a flat bonus up to like, is it 500 here, I think? If I add 500 max, then I get 10,528 or 29 HP rounding up, right? Not too bad, actually. That's actually not too bad. But if you add more HP, then she will be even sturdier, right? And she might be able to tank some physical AoE better. Um, my arena here, my uh, arena master here really sucks, and I, I'm, I don't have a lot of HP stones. Anyways, so that's how you calculate HP in PvP, right? Uh, and that number will be what you see in combat, right? In the post deployment number. All right, so let's go and uh, level her up, and she'll get more stats across the board. Alrighty, so witnessing the moment, the moment of truth. Yes. Yes. So a few things to notice. She gains 10% extra damage, which is huge, huge in PvP. Right. There's a lot of damage reduction talent for skills or gears in PvP. This is huge. And she dispels two debuffs from allies within three blocks. Right? At five stars, she does it at three blocks instead of two blocks. Right? But at five star, in addition to the actual range, it, debuff, it dispels two debuffs, which is huge, huge in PvP. This is, the, this is why she, she is good in uh, debuff heavy bo uh, boxes. On top of the gospel, she actually did dispel debuffs she heals 300% int as well so 50% more more heals you however do need to be careful if there is heal reversal debuff on you if you attack with racial or AOE with racial she will heal first doing damage to her team then dispel so you have to be mindful of the situation uh, similar to like Liana Liana heal first with the talent and then um, and then actually dispel all right, so just be mindful of that. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Finally, finally, we got her six star. Yes. Yes. Let's go check her in-game stats now. So, a little bit higher power. Um, still low because less HP. That... Int though, holy crap, the high int. More HP is always good, right? That's that's really good HP. We we gained uh, we gained uh, two hundred and ten extra base HP from this, right? I I've already mastered her on all the path here, so she got she already has all the bonuses. So, how much extra HP does she have now? So 30, 38 38 plus 2147 multiplied by 1.65. That's 9874. 75. Right? So I add uh, 223, which kind of sucks, but let's assume we have 500 here. Then she will have um, 10,375 HP, just above, just above uh, 10K. We want 1k more, ideally, which will happen with Star Area. Yeah, so let's do the math here, right? So we had 5985 without Star Airing. If we actually get Star Airing, let's say put this on her, then we get another 509 HP multiplied by 1.65 again for the PvP bonus and the gear bonus. That's 10,715. And then we can add uh, 500 more if we're lucky with this. Then she'll have 11,215. 
So that's really good, actually. That's really good. Yep. Yep, that's uh that's not bad. Okay, so in PvP you bring either Sorceress or Crystal Warlock, it depends. Um, I think you face some single target assassin or whatever, you might bring Crystal Warlock instead. Uh, Sorceress is better uh, for higher attack, right? 100% at 100% HP, she gains massive, massive attack bonus. So if you give her like attack blessing or some damage bonus on like Wilder 3C, um, she will one-shot anything with Dark Reaper, right? Very strong, very strong. And she can do that with Scepter of Divinity from uh, 3 range, so you don't get counter-attack by like Lendo or other tanks. All right, so we've done the job. We've got, we've got uh, Ratio at a very good star level now, and we're slowly getting our box together for Season 6. Uh, a few more pieces still need to come into place. But uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Thank you for watching, guys, and following my progress. I wish you all the best. And, uh, you know, with the upcoming Rose and Seal banner. And I wish you all the best with uh, upgrading Elwyn um, to SP class. She, you know, lots of, there's lots of uh, PvE contents you need to clear. Uh, special quests to clear for SP Elwyn. Uh, Right, Rose and Seal Banner and SP Elwin's mission comes next Thursday. Uh, but SP Elwin's alternate uh, heart, a part of the Macho Lotto gambling reward, is coming the week after, the Thursday after. Um, so good luck with everything in over the next two weeks. Thanks for watching. Slash out.